Breaking news, if you watched me on TV this morning, I did not curl my hair, which is no surprise to anyone who watched my attempt yesterday. I'm gonna share the organizing segment after. I want to kind of do the setup again now that I'm home because it goes so fast when I'm in studio. I feel like I didn't quite get to all of my points. So let's talk about if you really need organizing products to get organized. First up are drawers. And yes, I physically brought an entire drawer in as a prop to the morning show. And we're just gonna pretend this is a drawer because I couldn't carry two drawers in. So this is what I used as my prop. But the point here that I want to show is that this is like your declutter drawer with no product. Oops, that's not supposed to be in there. This is like your declutter drawer with no product at all. And it's fine, it's not terrible. But when you look over here and you have something that gives structure, so we have these spring-loaded bamboo drawer organizers here that like fit almost every drawer. And then you have these. This helps give structure and sets a defined space for all of your stuff, which makes maintenance so much easier. And because I'm so extra, I brought an entire rolling rack well, it's not rolling, an entire, <laughs> brought an entire clothes rack into studio as my prop. Here, I want to show the difference between something that's decluttered and you're kind of using what you have. So like a mishmash of hangers versus if you have matching hangers. This is totally fine and there's not a lot of stuff here, but when you look over here, you can see that there is less visual clutter more streamlined and it looks very intentional. I also talked about how you can kind of up your game with these little hanging, I don't even know what they're called. They're little hanging doublers, but they're these little clear things. Hang on. Yeah, they're these little clear things that you just slide onto one hanger and you can like keep going. You can have like a whole cascade of stuff. This is great for setting up like kids outfits or if you don't have a lot of space in your closet, help you to like double or even triple the storage space you have. Being said, one of the best things you can do when you're organizing your closet is give your clothes room to breathe. So don't shove everything in and make it all squishy. That way you can actually take stuff off the rod easily and put it back easily. The last space we chatted about this morning was the fridge and how hard it is to keep organized. And I'm not going to talk about like all the millions of things you could put in there and turntables and little shelf risers and all of that stuff. What I really want to focus on is how we store our food. Yes, you can totally use what you have and make do and use like old yogurt containers, whatever mishmash of opaque containers, you know, the classic put some foil on a bowl thing. But this doesn't allow you to see what you have. And I find it often leads to smells um, and a lot of food waste because we end up throwing stuff out because we can't see it. What I find better is this. Using, whoops, using clear containers, if you can do the same brand, obviously better because they're gonna stack better. I love, love, love using mason jars whenever possible. And they do come with like these default um, like two-piece lids, which are totally fine and you can use them, but you can also get these one-piece lids lids which are much easier um, if you have sauces if you're storing like fruits I do meal like I do veggie prep in them and then you've got like these spout ones too where you can just pour stuff you can bring it up to the next level also I love using these dissolvable food labels you can just write on it the expiration date or like the date you made the food so you can then gauge as to when it's going to go bad as always, my goal as an organizer is never to bring more stuff, more clutter into your home. So I really want you to be very intentional with your purchases. The thing you have to do before anything else is to declutter your space. Declutter your space. Make sure you're only keeping what you truly love, use, and need. If you are going to bring in organizing products because that's going to help you kind of bring your space up to the next level, I urge you. No, no, I'm just telling you. I'm not urging you. I'm telling you, you need to measure first. Measure your drawer, measure your closet, measure your shelf, measure the room, whatever it is, measure your space so that you're not going out and buying a whole bunch of stuff and then being stuck with it because either you can't return it or you forget to return it or it doesn't fit. So you're kind of making do, but it's not ideal measure your space. I always like keeping a little purse measuring tape with me so that way when I'm out I can measure the products that I'm going to be using to make sure it's going to fit. I store my home measurements so like the drawer or the the closet whatever it is in the notes app on my phone so that way I always have it with me. All right that's it. I think I hit all my points. I think I got everything across. I had so much fun on the show this morning and I will be sharing the full segment later.